Welcome everyone to a casted game for Zero Space. And today, spawning in the northwest corner of the map, playing in grey, we've got Deleterious Manor playing as the Grell faction and his opponent. In the southeast, playing in green, we've got Aaron playing as the Legion. Welcome everyone to Mountain Peak. That's the map for today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, hope you're having a fantastic day. We're going to see a great game here, hopefully today, from Zero Space. The Grell versus the Legion. Heading out to a second base expansion here, nice and early, the Grell. Looking to macro it up and get the economy rocking and rolling. Speaking of rocking and rolling, they're going to be rocking with the Tech Hero, which has three abilities, has the Energy Conduit, which has a shot that pierces up to six units in a line, pretty strong at times. It does also have the Swap ability to shoot an enemy and it swaps the location. Then also it has the ability to draw upon the Companion, which uh, can be pretty tanky in certain fights. The Inquisitress is the hero for the Legion, poking and prodding to do as much damage, uses the cleave, does land on some of the critters, but having to back away a companion attack hero, should be able to mop that up and clear it up. Do you actually control the unit when it's gained over an AI unit? So the little critter is now in the control of the Grell, although man has to back away, or like swapping first, and then does get a shield on his tech hero, so should be fine. Inquisitress might have to back away. She doesn't have a shield, she does run away in the end and manages to survive, at least for now. So interesting initial engagement. Now, a deleterious manner adding to that, you know, second base expansion nice and early. That does mean the root colony will be, you know, pumping out hexite for him nice and early. So economy will be slightly better. Heading in for a double incubator. Bear in mind, does have a good amount of control on the map. Does have one control tower already, so should be able to get the talents a little bit quicker. We'll see which talent it goes for. And we do see the uh, the Legion having that second base expansion now running as well. Looking to get the critters on the south one here, Legion, trying to keep an active hero in the form of the Inquisitress is capturing it but Tech Hero might have something to do that does swap in in start working on oh the cleave didn't land there for the Inquisitress unfortunately for her and looks like actually the companion doing most of the damage on the critters they're starting to lose a bit of health companion does get taken down Inquisitress looking to use the cleave maybe we shall see does charge on in just to try and cut off the retreat but look at that the tech hero does teleport. Well, not teleport, but kind of uh, charges away. It's, it's more. It's not so much the charge. It's more of the the swap. So with the tech hero, when you use a swap, if you use it on the enemy, you swap locations. But if you don't land on an enemy, you just actually move to that location. In the middle of the map, Inquisitor's gathering that control tower. So Legion finally onto the map in terms of control towers. Tech hero then moving that location with four stingers as well. I think Inquisitor's might be backing off. Probably has to back off. Could be dangerous otherwise. Does charge on out of there. And we see the high rich flux being uh, deposited from the ships in the sky. That's something that both players will be looking to try and take advantage of as the match wears on. We see the... It's, it's actually interesting because, you know, the Legion do take some time to get rocking and rolling. Actually ended up with an armory first, looking for some upgrades. Opened up with only one barracks, and there is the second barracks now. But, you know, the Grell have been on the second base expansion a little bit earlier. Had the second incubator. So we should have a lot of units on the field. Does have a couple of chat crew crabs now adding into the mercenary unit with the Grell. That's going to be a super tanky unit. And the talent is in, by the way. So it's going to give them an additional 8% movement speed on those Grell units. A lot of stingers. There's a couple of them being infused as well. And if you do couple that with improved infusion as a top bar, or talent rather, it can be really powerful for the Grell. We shall see what options it decides now. It looks like it's going to be the Valkaru Hounds for the... Legion looking to try and tank as much as they possibly can does deploy a guardian obelisk which should actually help in this fight I'm not so quite sure he's got enough here though the Legion might have to back away because a lot of stingers doing a lot of melee damage now the tech hero trying to get as much value as possible with the tech hero losing most of his life so far oh Inquisitors in fact might die here last shot will, will Inquisitors manage to survive I think Sting gets one hit will the tech hero oh yeah it goes down in the end unfortunately Inquisitors does lose her life and that means now actually the girl should have a lot of map control does lose one more hound on the retreat Chaco Crab's getting a lot of value. Now, what this means, actually, for the Legion is they're going to struggle to get map control once again. And you can see talent coming in, actually, now for Eren. Does use the... I think it's... um, I'm not sure, actually, what upgrade that is. Is that reduced mercenary cooldown? I think it quite might... I think it might just be for the Valkyrie. Yeah, there we go. Minus 50% production cooldown on the uh, mercenaries. Can take down the control the uh, Guardian Obelisk, though, for free. That's unfortunate for the Legion. And Grell will be happy about that. Uh, expanding to a third base, so you can see the, the play here for Mana getting a good engagement and then expanding the economy nicely down. The Legion have to try and buy some time. He's going to go for a third base himself, but just seems a little bit behind at every stage. But if he can take a decisive fight, that could be massive. I think that's what he needs.
the Grail grouping up together. Now, I wonder if he's going to add in a couple more mercenaries, because the chat crew, they are known for their very strong, like, armoured, tanky units. We've got the Chakra Worm as well. That could be an option. Do you also have the Rageborn? That could be good. But looking to get those control towers. In fact, three of them are there for the Grails. The talent's going to come in thick and fast. That's a concern for the Legion because the next talent that might come in it would be, well, could be Improved Infusion. And that could be a very problematic situation. He went actually for the middle control tower of the Legion. Leaf is a, a base exposed and might lose that armory. In fact, will lose that armory. And that's important, actually. I like that play because you can take out a barracks and maybe take out some production. But what that does, it, it halts down any sort of upgrades. Although, kind of cornered in here, I think the girl might need, need to use their, their bar ability to head on out. Because that's a tricky situation. Is using that indeed, the top bar ability, as the underground transport. Causing a worm, but does lose a couple of units whilst waiting for that worm to come on in. Either way, the worm transports the units back to the nearest root colony of HQ. And you can see here now, actually, the Grell Stingers have an upgrade that makes them stealth on the grass. It's a really nice one. Makes it mean that the enemy can sometimes struggle to see what they're up against. He does have a, a Harbingers now, a ranged unit. Up to this point, the Grell have actually been mostly relying on, um, well, I guess melee units, really, apart from the tech hero. But now adding the Harbinger does add another element to this fight. That makes it a bit more tricky, right? Because the Legion do have the Thralls, the ranged Thralls that were doing damage on, you know, being able to kite away. But now, up against the Harbingers, I think the girl could be in a good spot. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple of infused units popping out soon. Shredding Eruption on those Harbingers makes some super good extra 100 damage on them. Now, the talent's coming in for the Legion as well. I think that's the one that's the scrap one that allows them to use or reclaim. Or just gather back some of the resources of units that are lost for the Legion. Does have a good population supply, though. Taking the fight now with the Guardian Obelisk. This could be a tricky situation for the Grail. I'm not so sure about this fight for him, because he could just going around the back, trying to take out, to snipe out the tech hero if he can. On the back, though, we have Valkyrie Shock Troopers doing some splash damage. That's massive. This could be good here for Aaron if he can push this issue, and if the Grail don't retreat, this could be a game-changing fight. A lot of hounds there for the Valkyrie. He needs to try and chase us down, though, if he can, to finish off these Grail units. They're staying alive for now, and whilst they are staying alive, that always gives an opportunity for the Grail to survive. Struggling to gap close. Might take out another Harbinger, possibly. Needs to try and do as much damage as he possibly can. Does get surrounded on the Harbinger. The Chakra Worm going to tank quite a bit. Harbinger's on the back line. It's not enough there for the Grell, though. He needs to back away. Armor Thrall coming in from the south. To try and get on top of this Harbinger. Good fight here for the Legion. Though he's losing a couple of Hounds, though. Which is a bit... Uh, it's a bit cautious. That companion going to absorb a lot of the damage. So the Grell should be able to retreat with the Chakra Worm tanking. To survive with three Harbingers and the, tech, and the Tech Hero. I don't think he can really push in too much more. Hounds going forward, though. I think this is a position where Legion can't overcommit. I don't think he has enough. Look at the reinforcers coming with the Chakra Worm. Legion need to back away. Those guys are beasts. They're super tanky. The Hounds going to try and challenge it if they can, but it's just not enough of them. And I think the early advantage in that fight that Aaron with the Legion got, I think it's slowly being evaporated. Look at that. Hounds charging on in, but the Chakra Worm's going to clear that out. We also do see the Rageborn. Ah, oh, this is not looking good here for the Legion. He overextended a little bit. Mercer's came out the perfect time for mana. Now, he's flooding in units. Now, Delicious Mana is still under 38 supply, technically, but all of these units are super tanky. You can see the shield on the Chakra Worm. On the Chakra Crab, rather. He's got two Chakra Worms as well. Inquisitors. Oh, needs to get out of there. Could be sniped. Now, they're surpri surprisingly fast, aren't they, those uh, Worms? Keeping up with Inquisitors somewhat. Shock Troopers and a Rhino. I think they need to back away. He's going to lose more units otherwise. Guardian Obelisk does get deployed, though, but Infused Rageborn going to do a heck of a lot of damage. This is looking dangerous. Now, Aaron now down to 48 supply. What's concerning is that third base expansion has been up and running for a while for the Growl, and he's pumping out mercenaries. A couple more hounds pop on in, and sure, the hounds come in earlier for the Legion with the Valkyrie, but it just feels like they're you know, waiting for the Chakra ones. They're super tanky in the mid game, as we're getting now. Does have a Terra tank. Feels like it's the final defense, and I like this by the Growl, by the way. He's backing away because he recognizes he has premium units. He doesn't want to lose them. And it almost feels like the situation that Legion had just a moment ago. They had a good fight, the Legion, but then they overcommitted and lost the units. The Growl not looking to make the same mistake. The game can be unforgiving if you do overextend, and I think we've seen that case today. But moving out to the middle of the map, that might leave an opportunity for the Growl to move down south once again. We shall see, but the population supply has brought has come back up again for the Legion as a terror tank. Oh, but look at that unit. The Chakra Worm has been infused. It's an absolute beast now. Talent's coming on in. Takes 
less damage. Performance enhancers for the Legion increase 20% movement speed and 10% damage. But again, against the Chaku Worm, it's going to tank a lot. So, yeah, I'm not so sure how well those Legion Thralls are going to do here. The ranged ones in particular does have the Legion tank behind us, but this is such a good fight for the Grail. Doesn't look like they've got a lot of units, but all the units are premium. Ripping through the Legion army, and well, then all that leaves to be remained is that, that tank. And if you can get a surround on the tank, that could be dangerous. I mean, this is possibly the last stand here for the Legion. He needs to find a way to somehow take out those armoured units if he can. He's pumping out from the barracks. He needs to really... Thralls though in minimal numbers trying to get Rageborn but look how much he's tanking it and does use the shield on it. So that Rageborn going to survive for a lot longer now. The Legion, they're struggling. Taking out the Rich Flux and if the Grail get on top of that it could be game over. Mana floating quite a bit of Hexar and, and Flux. If he keeps up production which he is now look at the Stingers popping forward. That could be the game changer. Look at the supply because of those Stingers. He shot up in a heartbeat. It's going to get us around. Thralls are going to be decimated by the Chakra Worm. Tank is trying to do as much as it can. Guardian Obelisk is there, but that's going to take down the Chakra Worm. Rageborn's getting involved, and that's going to be a massive clear-up. Stingers getting us around on those Thralls. And the Legion losing their army, losing the Terror Tank before too long. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG gets called. Deletrius Mana takes the game with the Grell on Mountain Peak. Hope you guys enjoyed this castle game. Take care, and see you next time.